Hey everybody, Erica here. I hope you're having a great Friday. I just got a weird message that I had a weak wireless connection. So if you are watching, let me know. Oh, the joys of technology, right? I probably hear that on a daily basis. Hmm, let's see. I can't even get it up on my iPad, that's upsetting. I want to make, oh, okay, now I'm seeing it. We must have had a little, a little blip, some kind of technology snafu. I want to, I don't want to hear myself on my iPad. Okay, I see you. Hi, guys. Hello. Okay, good. You guys are seeing me, and I'm seeing you. Welcome. Thank you, Debbie and Darcy and Bonnie. Hi, Darlene. It's good to see you. Happy New Year to you, too. All right. So we're moving on to Valentine's mighty quickly after Christmas. I always think it's so funny how quickly we move on. Um, this week's projects are three Valentine projects. I love them a lot because I think I love the colors that I decided to go with. Um, it's kind of a, a soft, subtle um, color palette. But we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. Um, if you have never joined me for Facebook Live, I always offer the make and takes for free. Um, I'm just making sure that this is straight. Okay. I always make, offer the make and takes for free with a minimum $30 order. You just have to use the hostess code. Um, please try to use that hostess code because what I do is I pull up that order in my on my Stamping Up Demonstrator site. I just pull up that order and then I look at everybody who's listed under this hostess code. All right, so you have to use this hostess code. Please, 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 that, that's the way I will know that you ordered so I can send you them free and I try to do them. I set aside Tuesday mornings and I cut and get everything ready on Tuesday mornings. Also, what I do every week is type up a big long supply list for you. It has all the products that I'll use for each project um, as well as any important measurements that you will need. Um, there's also the, the host code on here too. If you want to print this out, um, keep it handy. Um, there's also a few little announcements. This sure do love you Valentine's treat class to go. Deadline is tomorrow. So please, if you're going to want this Valentine class, it'll ship out um, by next Friday, hopefully. That's my deadline for myself. Um, so if you want that class, you've got to sign up by tomorrow. Um, and then the next class, the last class for January is the picture picture perfect birthday class. It's a mouthful. And of course, I'm going to remind you every week about joining my team. I have been so blessed to welcome so many newbies, new faces over the last couple of weeks. Everybody's taking advantage of this awesome celebration deal. During celebration, you get two free stamp sets of your choice in addition to the $125. So information is there. Um, send me an email if you're interested in that and you have questions. Um, or you can find, there's always a join tab at the top of my blog. Hi, hello everybody. Thanks so much for joining. I see lots of familiar faces. All right. Um, so the two products I decided to go with this week um, are straight up Valentine's. I really love to make Valentine treats. So I'm using this bundle. This is the Sure Do Love You bundle. And it's these, these framelits on this side. Um, we're also going to use the Sweet and Sassy Framelits. Those are the hearts. They coordinate with the other set we're going to use. Um, so if you already have the hearts, this is a great one to get to go with it. And we're going to use the U from the Celebration Framelit set that I'll talk to you about in a little while. So if you're looking for this in the Occasions catalog, it's page 19. I can show you the catalog now safely without getting in trouble. I know I was a little had a little blonde moment there before it went live, but hopefully I'll never do that again. So safely I can show you page 19. Lots of fun things. Stamping Up is so good about offering coordinating products. You don't have to kind of pull from all over the place. Everything you need is right together. Um, there's the paper, uh, the, the really cool stickers, this chunky glitter, which I haven't used yet. I really want to. Um, but you can even, if you want to buy the framelits and the matching stamp set together, they offer them at 10% off. So don't miss that. Don't order them to separately. Order them together and you save 10%. And then the other set that I am featuring today is 
a set that I really, really like, and it's called Heart Happiness. Just a bunch of heart stamps. And I mean, we can use heart stamps all the time. I feel like I'm cutting out tiny hearts every day for a project. I use hearts all year long, during Christmas, all the time. So to have a, a really good, solid um, heart set, I think is um, one that you can use all year. And because it, it coordinates, these are the, the sweet and sassy framelits that are in the annual catalog. You can use these all year. Um, it does use this one from, this. these two are from this set, the Shorter Love You set. So if you have both, then you'll have all the framelits that you need. Okay, so the other one I wanted to point out, of course, it's Celebration. And if you are new and you haven't heard about Celebration, it's January 3rd through March 31st. And that's when we have this extra catalog that is full of free stuff. And you get free products with every $50 you spend. So when you look through here, there's some exclusive products, not just stamps, but paper and ribbon and kits and envelopes and all kinds of things that are free with a $50 purchase. New this year, this is something Stampin' Up! hasn't done, we have two items that are free with a $100 purchase. And that's because they're more, they're more uh, higher value. Framelits are more expensive. Um, so that's why it's free with $100 rather than $50 purchase. Um, and then we have a double stamp set here too that is free with $100. So I'm going to be using that little U right there. I really love the amazing. I, th I think that's really cool. Okay. So let's get started. Oh, wait, no, let's not get started. I have some prizes. Last week, I was giving away the hostess set called Yay You. And I, it, again, if you haven't joined me for Facebook Live before, right now on my blog, a post is going live with all the details. And it has a little widget at the bottom that's called... Um, raffle copter and it'll ask you your name your email address um, that's how you enter for my giveaway I added in there at the last question is worth five entries and it's asking if you've joined my email list so join my email list and you'll get five extra entries for this week's drawing but anyway here's the winner I've already emailed her Hillary F so if your name is Hillary F please check your email because I would like to put this in the mail for you this afternoon congratulations Hillary now this week I have two stamp sets to give away. Another hostess set called Cozy Cottage. That'll be really fun to use with our new blends or even the watercolor pencils would be really nice with this. So a hostess exclusive set is uh, you can only get it when you spend over $150 or you host a workshop over $150. So this is really exclusive. Um, so that's prize number one. And prize number two is another set. It is not a Valentine's Day set, but in my heart, every time I see it, I think Valentine's Day. Um, one year I made um, chocolate dipped fortune cookies for the teachers. And so I'm thinking, hey, I need to do that this year and, and use this. It's so cute. But if you look at the sentiments, it's not for Valentine's Day, birthday, just all kinds of things. So anyway, this is a second giveaway. I feel like this is kind of a sleeper set um, that we're not noticing. It's in the catalog, you know, way past the Valentine's stuff. Again, it's not Valentine's Day. I don't know why I keep just assuming that it is, but it is um, clear mount rubber. I get a lot of questions about that. Clear mount rubber. We'll talk about that more in a minute. Um, so these two. So when you enter the giveaway over on my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com, um, let me know which one you'd prefer. So if I draw your name, I'll know which one to give you. Okay. So that is that. Let me get a drink. Read a few comments. Hello, 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 Trisha. I'm sorry you're having spotty reception. Yes, the replay will be available. Okay, first project, we're gonna start with a card. Um, and this card actually was my swap card that I did this week with my team. I have a wonderful team that is growing by leaps and bounds. I am so proud of my team right now. I just am so excited to see. Um, but we are doing a swap uh, every month. And this month, the theme was anything new. So I kind of, of course, am, have Valentine's on the brain. So I decided to go with a Valentine's card, kind of. But really, you are one of a kind. Could be any time, right? That you want to tell somebody that you appreciate them or that you think a lot of them. Thank you for the hearts. I love that. Okay, so we're going to do quite a bit of stamping. Um, 
the card, the colors that I chose to, to do this today, I, I was trying to just kind of branch out from the designer series paper colors. I wanted to do something different. And so I'm doing Flirty Flamingo, Powder Pink, and Smoky Slate, and Basic Gray. Th those colors are my color palette. So we're gonna do some stamping. Let's see. I'm gonna start with this heart. This is from the Sure Do Love You set. And it's kind of a distressed heart. I think it kind of looks almost like a, like maybe it's watercolored. So when I stamp it, you'll see it doesn't fill in all the way. That's okay, it's supposed to be like that because it is like a distressed look. Um, now the second heart, and I'm just realizing that I don't have my foam pad. This heart, let me grab my foam pad. Sometimes photopolymer stamps, I've told you, you guys this before, you need a foam pad underneath when they're really solid. Um, some more so than others. And this one I have noticed really does need it. So I'm doing this in powder pink, nice. And let's see, what else do we need? Okay, those are the only two hearts that we're gonna cut out. Um, we're gonna stamp on this background piece. Um, we're going to cut those out in just a second, but here's our little background piece, and we're going to do this big open heart in Smoky Slate. I'm going to show you guys at the end of the video, at the end of the, the live, I'm going to show you some swap cards that I got um, this last week from a different swap that I did, and showing you uh, some other things that people have done with these, and that one in particular is interesting the way... You can use, you can cut out the, the inside with a framelit and then make it a shaker, which is really fun. All right, these little sprinkly hearts in Flirty Flamingo. And all right, I think that's all the stamping for right now. So let's get the big shot over here. And, ooh, you know what? I don't have a little white piece. All right, well, we'll make, we'll work it out. All right, now I'm gonna cut out some other things too. I don't know if you guys could hear that but I was getting a phone call and I put do not disturb on my phone so why does it still come through does anybody know the answer to that because I put on do not disturb and I silenced my phone if you know the answer to that I would love for you to tell me because that seems to happen about every other week okay so this is glimmer paper right here that's what I was going to show you when I was so rudely interrupted this glimmer paper is new and this is called the Myths and Magic 6x6 Glimmer Paper. It's over with the little, in the catalog, the occasions catalog that has like the mermaid and the dragon and all that. So it comes in Lemon Lime and Bermuda Bay, I'm assuming. But we're gonna use just a little piece of the white, the white Glimmer Paper. Oops, well I was trying to avoid that. All right, so we're gonna put that there. And let me grab my framelit. So we're going to cut this little framelit. No, we're going to do this one. This little heart. Again, I'm using the, this is called the, what's it called? The Lots of Love Box. <laughs> I can't remember. I just know the bundle name. But the box framelits that go with a sure do love you. All right, so there's that. Then let's put these guys here. This heart is from the Sweet and Sassy framelits otherwise known as the heart framelits. And this heart is from the same uh, Shorty Love You bundle. Lots of love box, is that what it's called? I don't know, I can't remember the exact name, but it's right there, I've showed, I showed you in the catalog. All right, now here are the three thinlets from Celebration. I'm gonna use the U, put that there. All right, we're gonna cut them all at the same time. I've got my magnetic platform. And it's holding those right where I need them. I've got a Diet Coke, a very full Diet Coke sitting right here. And if I spill it, that'll make a really exciting Facebook Friday. Okay, let's not let that happen. There's the U, there's the heart. There's the big heart, there's the medium heart, and that's it. Now we need to stamp the sentiment, and you might have already noticed saying, hey, that sentiment is not in the sets you said we were using. You're right. I pull the sentiment 
from another set. I love to mix mix up stamps and make new sayings. So, and this is really isn't making a new saying, but it's kind of making a saying using this you. Lovely wishes, also in the occasions, brand new. You are one of a kind. That's the one that I'm using. And my basic gray, did I not pull it? Well, you know, some days you think you're organized. And you're really not. I thought it was very organized today. Basic gray. The, the thing, really cool thing about photopolymer is normally I would need to mask that when I ink, inked it, but because I can see exactly where I'm inking it, can you guys see? I have the U hanging off the edge right there. And I'm gonna look and make sure, okay. And I'm gonna stamp it right here in the corner of this paper. There we go. So we're just doing our one of a kind because we have the die cut U. Now, let's see how my paper cutter works today. I tried to use it earlier and it was giving me problems because I need to change the blade. All right, we're just gonna cut this. Oh, it did nicely, thank you, paper trimmer. Um, actually, I'm gonna just do that with my scissors. Um, I don't know what I was gonna say. Let's just trim that off. Okay, I think we're ready to layer everything up. And you know that I'm going to be using some dimensionals. Okay, are you guys still there? My video paused. Okay, no, you're still there. I think you're still there. What is happening today? There must be like some solar flares or something. I don't know. Is that even a thing? All right, basic gray card base um, with a piece of smoky slate. And then the Whisper White that we stamped, these measurements are on the supply sheet that is on my blog. Just hop over there and you can um, save it, print it, do whatever you want. Now we're gonna do some dimensionals. I love this color. And let's overlap this one right here. And we're gonna pop this one up right here. Who else likes layers? Do you guys like lots of layers like me? I like lots of layers, lots and lots of layers. All right, I'm just gonna use glue dots on this guy. One behind the Y, one behind the OU. And let's put it right there. Did you notice that I didn't put any bows on this card? It's rare. It's very rare, you guys, that I don't use. Uh, Anne-Marie, I knew you would chime in if you were there. Lots of layers. No bow, no bow. That's very unusual, but you know what? I like it, kind of simple, and it'll mail with a regular stamp. That's always a bonus. Okay, project number one. What do you guys think about these colors? Do you like them? I love them. All right, let me pack up this project here get everything out of the way. The next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to make a box. This box that comes in this framelit set. Let's see, I don't know, do I need any of these for the next project? We'll find out in a minute, won't we? I'm trying to make it so that my space is not as crowded. All right, the box. Um, I told you, I teased last week that I would show you how to make this box that's in the framelits. And I'm gonna have to tell you the right name. Let's look it up because I keep saying the Shorter Love You framelits and they have a name. Lots to love, okay? Right here, lots to love. This box is just awesome. It fits our note cards. Remember the note card I made last week? Fits right in there. You can make a set, but I would like to have a box of candy. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I would rather put candy in my box. Okay, so let's cut it, and I'm gonna show you that it is pretty simple to put together. All right, so we're using powder pink again. We're using that same color scheme, color palette. And I've got two here. I'm gonna cut two at once. And you use this, this is the both the back and the front of your box. And we're gonna send it through. Conversation candy box that you have. Oh, thanks. 
thanks. That's nice. Yeah, I forgot about that one. I need to go back and look at that conversation box. Conversation heart box. All right, so I went through twice just to, for good measure, make sure we got all the cuts going through where they need to be. And this is what you have, okay? Two of these. Now we're actually going to adhere them like this. You want one rounded flap over here and one rounded flap over here. So let's go ahead and burnish these lines. Like that. That way, they'll be ready. All right, so I'm going to adhere that to that. Fast fuse or tear and tape. Don't try to use snail on these boxes. You'll be sorry, because it'll fall apart. Ask me how I know. All right, now, it just goes together just like that. Is it making sense now? So see how we had it like that? And now we're gonna go over it like this. And I like to make it's so hard for me to explain this. I want the sides, the this outer edge, where this is folded over, I want it on both sides. So I wanna make sure that when I adhere it, both those outside flaps are facing the, right, the same direction because I like to put them on the back. All right, so that will be my front, the front of my card, I mean my box. Did I line that up? Yep, okay, so now let's fold up the bottom. We've got some score lines here. I'll burnish those up. And I'm going to actually put adhesive on this side because I want that bottom to stay shut. Because I am going to put candy in there. All right. So your hand probably won't fit in there unless it's tiny. So I'm going to use my scissors to make sure that's nice and sealed. All right, so now, oh, behave. All right, we're gonna fold that down. Why isn't that doing what I want it to do? I'm trying to fold it on the fold, the score lines. There we go, like that. All right, that's your box. Easy peasy. I love it. Okay, so now let's decorate it. We're gonna actually do some embossing on our smoky slate. This is the polka dot embossing folder, one of my all time favorites. Oops, let me use this other one. You cannot use your magnetic platform when you are embossing, it's too thick. So you've got to use the platform that came with your big shot. And if you have the newer platform, it doesn't have all the, the folders that fold over. So you're just gonna use the, the base by itself. And you're gonna put your clear plate and then your embossing folder and another clear plate. This is a regular embossing folder. It's not one of the, the thicker ones. All right, so let's move that out of the way. Now I decided I needed a little shimmer on this. So I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and I'm just gonna add some little Wink of Stella to all my polka dots. And really I don't need to do the ones in the middle because we're gonna cover those in a minute. I love Wink of Stella. I had to just order a new one. I had one completely run dry. Been using it quite a bit. All right, so that's gonna go on a piece of basic gray. Now this basic gray and smoky slate measurements are over on the product sh project sheet on my blog, okay? So if you want it, just hop over there. I better do it like this. It's, the box is empty, so it's not going to withstand my pressure of my fast fuse. All right, right there. Now to keep that closed, I'm gonna take some twine. It really should stay closed. If I had burnished it like I should have done before I put it together, it would be staying closed better. All right, just some Whisper White Baker's Twine. I was at Target today looking at candy again, and there is so much candy. I, there was some pastel Jordan almonds that I don't think I've ever seen before. I have white, which I put in here originally, but I mean, you could put all kinds of things in here. Okay, now let's do the stamping. 
me get my paper. Now this heart is interesting. It's also distressed. So when you stamp it, you'll see some kind of uneven um, ink and that's by design. When you look at the actual stamp set, you'll see it's like watercolor. That's the kind of the look that 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 stamp is designed to look like. Okay, so we need to do Flirty Flamingo again. And we're going to do the, nope, you know what, we're going to do the Sentiment and Flirty Flamingo also. And I'm going to do it down here at the bottom because I'm going to punch that one. Now it's got these cute little leaves in the set and I'm going to do two of them in powder pink. And then we're going to run it through the big shot. I'm also going to cut a vellum banner or pin it. I guess that's a banner. This banner die is one of my favorites. It's from the Many Treat Bag Framelit collection. You guys know that one? I use it all the time. Let's see if we can get all of these fit fitting on here. Anyway, you if you don't have that banner, I mean that uh, Framelit collection, the banner triple punch will do the exact same thing. All right, so here's the heart. And this framelit set actually comes with two of these little leaf framelits, leaf framelits. And I think that's smart because they know that you're probably gonna be cutting out more than one. That way you can do it all at the same time. Stampin' Up! Is so smart. All right, vellum banner and heart and some leaves. Oops, that one looks like it slipped a little bit. Look at that, can you guys see it slipped? Let's do it again. We've got time. And we've got plenty of paper. Right, let's see if we can run it through again. Sometimes that happens. The, the smaller the framelit, the more it jumps around. Hello, Leslie, thanks for watching. I hope you guys are warm wherever you are. We are chilly again. We've had, for South Texas, quite a cold winter. We are usually very mild in the winter, but we're actually pretty, been pretty cold. Okay, so this one I told you just for you. I'm, punch, I'm punching it with, there's a weird thing in there. It's like the paper from last time is stuck in there. This, uh, is this the classic label or the modern label? I forget. Okay, classic label. It's a good one. Look at that. Like a glove. Love it. Okay, time to layer. Lots of dimensionals. Surprise, surprise. All right, now the dimensionals for the banner, we want to hide. Hopefully I put them close enough because you don't want to see them through the vellum. Let's see, did I put them close enough? Is this gonna go? Yeah, okay. So if you put your dimensionals wherever you're going to put whatever's on top of it, then they won't, you won't see them, see? Perfect. All right, let's do a dimensional. Is this gonna need a mini dimensional or can I squeeze it in? Perfect, ooh, very close, okay. Put that right in the middle just for you. Now these guys, I'm gonna put a glue dot on top of it. See how I put a glue dot there? And stick one there, and one there. And there you have it, so cute, I love it. Okay guys, if you haven't been with me the whole time and you haven't heard me, these make and takes are free. Put in an order, minimum $30 order, by midnight Monday, and I will send you all three make and takes for free in the mail from me. All right, I think that's a pretty good bonus. And if you hit it, if you hit $50, you get something free from the celebration catalog, and you'll get my January All-Star tutorial bundle for free. So many free things in January. I love it. Okay, one more project. And I love this one, it's so cute. 
I think it's cute because it has lots of flirty flamingo. Let's see if I can do this without knocking my camera. Now this one involves candy. Where did I, let me make sure I'm not making a giant mess and putting things all over the place. Hold the hold please. Let me get organized. All right. Because I know that when I get to the end, I'm gonna wanna show you some things. Okay, gotta stay organized. All right, here we go. So here is this, and inside is something I don't think I've seen before. Have you guys seen these? Dove peanut butter heart, Um, excuse me, hello. Yes, please. Uh, so Target, they are from Target. Um, I think they were like two for a dollar, I can't remember. Um, but yum, so yes, that definitely needed to come home with me and definitely needed a cute holder. All right, so this time we're gonna use that same box framelit, but this time we're only gonna cut one, okay? We're not gonna cut both of them. Boy, my arms are getting a workout today. Back and forth, back and forth. All right, so let's put that on there and run it through. You know, I'm just thinking, I typed that up, but I, yeah, I typed in the score lines, I think. Yikes, I'm not remembering. Oh, we're gonna need that big shot one more time. All right, so now we're going to cut off those tabs. We don't need the side tabs right here. So just put those in your paper trimmer and line that up. Although I am having a hard time seeing. Let me just start it so I can see where it's at. Line that up in the gutter of your paper cutter and just cut it right off. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Why am I having such a hard time seeing that today? There we go. All right, so there, oh, ooh, let's pull that off. Okay, so there is all you need. And we're gonna score it. So you're gonna need, I guess you could use your trimmer, but I prefer the Simply Scored. And let's see, the, the score lines are here on this paper, right here. Score your flirty flamingo piece at two and an eighth, and it's cut off, two and five eighths. Two and an eighth and two and five eighths. Five eighths is just a tick mark past the half, in case you were wondering. My kids, when they're griping about math, I tell them, you guys, I do math every day. And they're like, you're lying. You know, I really don't like that. I'm gonna trim that off a little bit. But I do, I use fractions every day when I'm measuring. Of course, they probably still don't care. Oh, that just made it kind of rough. You guys see how I need a new blade on my paper trimmer? And I have one, I just haven't <laughs> switched it out. I use a guillotine um, paper cutter normally. I prefer a ch chopper, so I don't use that very often. Okay, stamp, let's stamp some cute little, these look like the conversation hearts. I'm not even reading your comments, hi. Oh, I see some of my downline, hello ladies. All right, flirty flamingo, little conversation hearts all over. And I try to turn them different directions so it's kind of random like that. Some can be hanging off. Okay, that's good. Wow, that looks really dark. I don't know why it looks so dark. I guess because I ringed my, <laughs> I ringed my, my, my ink pad. All right, so we're gonna fold in like this, and then this one, it has two score lines here, but we're just gonna do this bottom one, okay? Over like that. It almost looks like a little purse. All right, see that? Cute, right? Now before we do that, I'm gonna add a little scalloped oval under here, and we're gonna cut that with a big shot, and so that I don't have to get the big shot out twice. Let's go ahead and stamp the sentiment and cut the gold heart. We'll do it all at the same time. I'm gonna do the sentiment in powder pink. I know, Patty, thank you, I love it too. I, I just was like proud of myself when I put those colors together. Super proud of myself. Where's my stamp? Oh, geez. All right, just ignore me. 
My husband is home today and it's making me off. I like to be home by myself during the day. He's here. He's, I don't know. He's, I think he's locked away in the bedroom right now. Because I told him, don't make any noise. Okay, so we got that. We got that. We need this heart. And that is a sweet and sassy heart from otherwise known as the heart framelits. All right, let's cut it all together. All at the same time. This is gold foil in the annual catalog. A staple, really. And this banner. You guys didn't even tell me I was missing the banner framelit from the framelits. Oh, hold. Hold, please. I just used it. I was showing you the framelits, and you were like, isn't something missing? Here it is. I'm out of the frame. Hello. Here we are. Okay. Now, this oval. Um, scalloped oval from the layering ovals. Hi, Brittany. Hello. All right. Let's get that out of the way. You know what I need to put on my table is a trash bin. Next week I will remember to do that. Okay, so this also comes with your box of love or lots of love box framelits. And it fits the sentiment perfectly. All right, let's layer it up. Why does that look so dark? Do you guys see the difference? Maybe I stamped it um, in powder pink last time. Interesting. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows what I do? All right. I'm going to take this oval and I'm just going to put it right under that cute little. Let's cut it in half. What a waste, right? That way you can get two out of one oval. So if you're making a bunch, you only have to cut half as many. There we go. Looks like little teeth, doesn't it? <laughs> Looks like some teeth. Okay, let's put our chocolate in there. And if you don't want them sliding around, just put a tiny little glue dot in it and that will keep it in place. Or a little tiny, just a little boop like that of fast fuse. That way if the person, the recipient wants it, they could pull it out easily, but it's not just gonna like slide out. Okay, now we're gonna hold it together with Flirty Flamingo Striped Ribbon. Uh, this ribbon is in the annual catalog and it's so cute. This is one of those ribbons that if you cut it down the center, it frays a lot and I like that look. You can pull the fibers and stuff, it's really cute. All right, so mess around with your bow till you like it. Pull those little legs until it's the right size. All right, now behave. Add an angle and add an angle. And go to the top, there we go. And now all we have to do is layer up. We're gonna do the heart. I'm gonna, we're gonna kind of straddle that ribbon right there. And then this one is gonna go right there. And voila, cute, right? So cute, I love it. And the fact that you only have to cut one box for each treat is good if you're making a bunch. You don't have to make, you don't have to cut two sides. Okay, all right, so what do you guys think? Do you like these projects? I hope you do, I had a ton of fun making them. I think I'm gonna try to do Valentine's again next week because I bought like eight different <laughs> Valentine treat things at Target today, so I need to use them. Before you go, oh my gosh, that's a ton of hearts, you guys, thank you. Aww. That's so sweet. Before you go, let me show you some other things. I mentioned that I had done a swap. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of the swap cards um, and some other examples of this Sure Do Love You. This is a card that I made. This is from um, Stamp Club. This is our Stamp Club to go card and I really like it. I, go, I emboss that in the gold embossing powder. So again, layering, layer, 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 all those layers. And this is black and white. So those are kind of, to me, that's traditional Valentine colors. Um, let's see what else we got. Here's another one. This is from Keisha Smith. And I thought that um, it was a, a pretty perfect card. I love the way it's 
flat so you can mail it and um, just enough of that paper to not be too busy and crazy and she embossed that as well so very nice hi Keisha I don't think she's on here but I like Keisha we've met several times um, here's one that is really cool different color a different color scheme this one didn't have a name on it I don't know whose it was but I like the color scheme and it uses that orangey um, paper from that painted painted with love designer series paper so there's the banner and there's that heart that we used I love all the hearts you guys are making me excited oh wait I want to save this one this is kind of interesting look at this it's a fan I would call that a fancy fold wouldn't you uh, it's pretty cool. This is uh, Susan Nygaard. She is one of our million dollar achievers. I have one of her cards. And look, she's the gold, the little gold tinsel. Very pretty. This, um, this framelit cuts out, so it cuts out this stamp, and then it also cuts out the inside of that open heart that I was showing you. And I thought this one had the open heart, but it doesn't, but she used it. Who is this? Carol Mitchell Cusick. She used it to cut out a window to make a um, shaker. Beautiful. And there's that beautiful paper again. She, um, they, a lot of them use that paper. And I like how if you just use one pattern, it doesn't get too crazy busy. Um, and then randomly, I got one of these. This is from Joyce Whitman. I got one of these. This is using that stamp set that I got the sentiment from uh, that I told you was in the occasions catalog. Look at that. That's beautiful. I love the colors. Oh, look, there's the stamp I used. I didn't even notice that. All right. Now, before you go, I have two more things. Two more things. Don't go yet. Remember this last week when I showed you this and I told you that that stamp was from Teeny Tiny Wishes? Uh, yeah, it's not. It's retired. It was a rogue stamp in my Teeny Tiny Wishes. Um, thank you to the two ladies who emailed me and asked me very sweetly about it and I realized my mistake um it was a wood mount stamp from I think I don't know three or four years ago and unfortunately it's not um not um what's the word hello current anymore so but you could use lots of different sentiments and this the, there's a valentine stamp in teeny tiny wishes it says happy valentine's day and that's the one I was looking for and it wasn't in there so I wonder if I switched them and that valentine stamp got sold when I sold this stamp set that this one went anyway just FYI sorry about that um last little thing I want to tell you here is the sure do love you class to go it includes the stamps and the framelits and all six projects four different ways to use that box framelit plus two additional projects all the make and takes come in the kit um, all you need to provide is embossing powder this time gold embossing powder ink an adhesive and you'll use your stamps and your framelits um, and all the the little um, materials that I send you to make six projects plus you'll get the full color PDF and um, there are several options um, one option includes the bundle one option does not include the bundles if you already have it but you want the make and takes um, one option is PDF only if you just want the tutorial that's an instant download it's immediately emailed to you and then the fourth option is for my team my team gets the make and takes for $12 because they're part of my downline. If you're interested in this, um, I there's a little tiny um, website or link right here on the back of this PDF that you can go check out or email me. You have to email me for the registration link, that's per Stamping Up Rules. Um, email me and I'll send it over to you and you can register and pay via PayPal or credit card. Um, and I will close all that down tomorrow night, get my order in and hopefully have them shipped by Friday. Okay, that's it for today. Remember, let's look, let's review. I don't know where the cards went. Where did I put the cards? That's what I was looking for a second ago. Oh, here they are. Three make and takes free. If you use this hostess code, you have to use this hostess code by Monday at midnight. Um, and, oh, don't forget to go enter the giveaway over at my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Enter to win one of these fun stamp sets. And I think that's it. All right, you guys. I have to go pick up my kids. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you're warm. And I hope you have lots of crafty time this weekend. Please send me an email, erica at pinkbuckaroo.com, if you have any emails. Thanks so much for joining me, you guys. Bye.